what's good everyone welcome back to the channel we're currently in brooklyn on the way to broadway pro scooters we're gonna be at broadway pro scooters for the day i always pass this one spot every time i go to the shop and i never ride it because i guess i'm always on the move and then i'm like oh it's all knobbed so you can't really you can't really do much but then i see footage of other guys riding the stuff and like you can get creative with this spot and that's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to try to ride this spot right now. And I'm not sure what the kickout's like. I know in the front there's a lot of kickouts. We were here with JD um, a couple months ago. That guy in the front was like really cool, but <coughs> he told us to leave or just to be where he can't see so he doesn't get in trouble. So this is actually the spot. This spot's super sick. It's like a crazy bank. I remember back in the day there wasn't these knobs on it. I watched a bunch of skate videos. It was just like a fat bank, like a fat hip, which would be crazy sick but we're actually going to try to ride this spot you can just kind of get around the knobs you can kind of go through the stuff and like over and jump over that's what we're going to do so i'm just going to use the chest mount we're going to try to ride the spot and then we're going to hit the broadway right after all right this is the spot it's crazy bank <clears throat> this is the spot it's crazy bank this thing's so sick it'd be so crazy if there was no knobs then shut up I'm trying to freaking film but yeah i guess the first thing we're going to do is drop in just to get an idea for this spot and also to test if it's wet or not because everywhere else is soaked right now if you go in the street well this is actually kind of sketch to drop in is it wet uh it's like damp this is actually sketch to drop in i feel like i'm gonna hit one of these freaking bumps last thing i want to do is eat it like first thing in the morning all right i'm just gonna I gotta stay on the sidewalk because the street is completely soaked and the sidewalk is dry so I don't want to get my wheels wet and then get on the spot because it's like a real slick paint so if my wheels are wet on the spot it's gonna it's gonna suck my hands are freezing hopefully I can warm up fast it's not that cold out but oh. I'm sure you can like do a lot on this spot maybe if we jump like straight up here or something oh we can go just straight up on this but um, I didn't stretch, so I'm actually gonna stretch for like one minute first. Ugh. One more time, look at this spot. Imagine if there were no knobs. Imagine if there were no knobs, and there is a fat hip, obviously it'd be crazy to jump at the very end over there and go up and over the hip, because it's so high. But still, even right here, just doing a trick up, I'm sure you can kind of get around, but it's just kind of sketchy. We're gonna try to jump up. I guess we'll jump straight up. My wheels should be dry by the time I hit the bank. Just gotta have the freaking run up. Whoa! My wheels are sliding on this thing. I think we're better off just doing like tricks from the sidewalk. kind of like the only way to hit it right now only because the street's super wet so when you roll from the street and get onto the spot your wheels are like have like that damp glaze and then because the paint is so smooth you slip super fast so the way to hit it right now is from the sidewalk like like next to it you know you can't really go straight up it would be sick to kind of go and try to ride as far as i can and jump off the end i'm just not sure how much grip i'll have with my wheels We'll try. Uh, well, should go faster. Right here, you get to sketch. How crazy this is. Pretty sure there's like a sick handrail over here too, but um, I guess we'll try to do this one more time. Thank God for 120s. Woo! You hear that? <laughs> wow. My 
hands are so cold. Jumping off like the higher part hurts so much. My hands are freezing. The rest of my body is pretty warm. I guess just because I didn't really warm up yet. I'm just like started filming before anything. There's really not much I would like want to do right now besides like going straight up would be sick. It's just going straight up here and then doing like a manual trick around the stoppers and then come back in. But my wheels just get super wet. We gotta wait for it to dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around. I'm gonna show you guys the handrail for anybody that wants to hit a handrail. I never really hit handrails like ever, but if you want to hit a nice rail, I'm pretty sure there's one on this side. So if you go over here, and I know the security's probably like right there, but still, check out this rail. It's like so wide, it's almost a ledge, super sick. And you can kind of go like, I don't know, I think you can be creative. And he wants to hit a rail over in Brooklyn. We're on Lorimer and Messerol Street. What's that? Oh, yeah, this, this right here. What's up, buddy? Yeah, we. Yeah, I do film too, so I was just mm -hmm. curious, like, how do you. You just you, you film everything here and you go right on the computer and that's it, yeah. Edit it. I make you, YouTube videos every day, so I'm, I film everything I do. Everything you do? Mm -hmm. Anything else you do? This, 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 this is my main thing. I'm actually a professional scooter rider, right? I do this for a living and then I make the YouTube videos on the side too. Oh, okay. So it's fun stuff. Yeah. So I look, for, I look for new spots and stuff and new stuff to ride in New York and just have fun. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm, I'm on YouTube too. I'm yeah? I'll check, check it out. I'll check you out. Um, I do vlogging. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you do vlog. You can look at my name. I usually have stickers on me, but I'm all out. So if you want to just take a picture of that. What's going on, man? How are you? And what I do is um, I send... Um, on YouTube, I send you my, I send you a message. Man. Yeah, just comment on like the most recent video or something. Can I just get a photo? No, you can't. No, you can't. Can I just, can I just get a photo? No, you can't. A photo? All right, I'll get down. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna ride down. I'm just gonna get a photo. You don't have to take that out of my hand. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't you be tight if I just take something out of your hand, like your coffee? Huh? Trespassing. I'm trespassing? You're trespassing. Yeah, but the way you... You're trespassing. But the way you talk to me was like you're so... You're trespassing. Yeah, but look... You have no business up here. Yeah, but have a conversation with me, right? You you're have no business up here. Alright, look. Here. You're a professional, right? Or you like to be, right? I just... You can just ask day. me. Oh, you can't keep up with the conversation. Someone taught you well when you were younger. Oh, now you want to turn around. Good day, man. Hey, you're terrible at talking. I'm having a great day. This is actually my job. Enjoy yours if it rides on the torn down building. Dude, straight up tried to take my freaking scooter. Uh, I don't want to get like too heated, especially when I'm like, when I'm filming, I hold back a lot for you guys. Just telling you right now. When I'm filming, I try not to curse. I try not to say something stupid, but like, I was going up there just for a photo. I told them too, I was like, just want to get a photo. Like, it'd be cool to get a picture of the spot for the thumbnail. Like, I already got one, but. I wanted to get like a nicer one because that was like the cool, the cool angle, right? Like you gotta get thumbnails for the videos. The dude straight up grabbed the scooter out of my hand. And the worst part, which whatever, right? Like I'm not supposed to be up there. But the worst part, every time someone bothers me or like doesn't like what I'm doing, they never want to talk. They can't speak. They can't like, I want to hold a conversation and try to understand why and like what I'm able to do and what I can't do. And I guess like whatever, right? Like what would pisses me off the most is when someone can't like talk to me i'm not like 10 years old i can actually talk to people and actually hold a conversation and when someone can't it gets me so triggered i'm like come on man like freaking just like stop repeating yourself when someone repeats themselves if you guys know if you ever got into a fight or anybody that's just like doesn't know what else to say they're just gonna repeat themselves over and over again and it's like it's kind of like you already won like you, they have nothing else to say you know they're gonna say it again like but whatever that spot's cool obviously you can't ride the very very front just like we just tried i wasn't even riding the front I can't even, like what am i gonna do i'm not gonna hit the handrail i don't really hit handrails so i have to be like super hyped for it but we're actually gonna go um i'm gonna go to broadway right now and we're gonna be there for a little bit i'm gonna fix my scooter up my scooter's a little loose so that's what we're gonna do but um yeah if you guys want to ride the spot just ride the side don't ride the front if you're gonna ride the front make sure you got like a first try trick on the handrail or anything in the front because the dude there is like there's definitely a different dude since the last time I remember I told you before like the guy's really chill no 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 this dude is definitely a different dude and obviously you see he took my scooter away from me but I was like alright before I like continue and start riding 
I was kind of curious to see if he's actually gonna take my scooter away and like knock it back because then we would have brawled. I would have had that on film. I don't care. I'm not holding back. Someone's taking my scooter. I'm not. We're gonna brawl. I'm straight up tackle the dude. Like even if I lose, I'm not gonna freaking let him take my scooter. But um, it worked out. So we're out the brawl way. We're currently at Broadway, waiting for them to open up, waiting for Saki and everybody to get here. But um, I'm actually going to end it here because to go inside the shop, I mean, it's just nothing really is going to happen in the shop today. It's just, you know, we're just going to chill, I'm going to help out, fix my scooter, we're going to help out the shop. So we're going to close it out. But um, if you guys ever get in trouble or anything, or someone's bothering you in the street, just like try to speak to them. Like, obviously, I was like, I was trying to talk to him, and then I kind of got a little pissed because I was like, all right, this guy's like walking away, and then I was like, couldn't hold in, so I just said whatever. But um, if someone's like, obviously when you ride spots and you're kicked out, you're really not supposed to be there. Like, you're not supposed to be there. That's like part of it. But if you're gonna get kicked out, be mannerable. Don't curse the dude out. Don't do anything. Like, obviously I told you if you took my scooter, I'm gonna tackle him. That's a different story. That's mine. This is what I've earned. So like, this is my property. I'm not gonna have somebody take my property from me. But um, be mannerable and make sure you guys don't add to the flame you know what i'm saying like but um i'm gonna be in brawler today so we're gonna end here hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna go back to that spot and get a real clip i was thinking about doing like going up and like doing like a fake manual cross and, like whipping in like over the bumps so that'd be sick but we're gonna go on a dry day where i can get better run up and um that's really it so thanks again for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel I'm making videos every single day uploading at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So figure out where you are in the US and the world and five o'clock New York time, whatever time works for you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.